Oscar Duck, I'm 20 years old and I'm a blacksmith. So a blacksmith is somebody who works with steel primarily, we heat steel in a forge, in a fire, we then come to the anvil and hit it with hammers to change the shape of it, bend it, move it about so we can create ornamental things. I originally used to make bows and arrows when I was 13 and then I wanted to make my own steel arrowheads. I dug a hole in my garden, made my own charcoal, I got some scrap steel, my mum's hairdryer, my dad's claw hammer and I literally just started having a go at blacksmithing. So I went to Bowling High School, did my GCSEs, and then after that I went to Burnley College. And so I came to Burnley College to do A-levels, and the reason why I went to Burnley was because I could do product design. And as a part of that, I could link in my blacksmithing, and so I could obviously express those sort of design ideas. The norm is, of course, do your A-levels, go to uni. And so when I was in a room of other A-level students and they said, what uni are you going to? And I said, well, I'm not going. People were often shocked at when I said that. And then I explained, actually, that no, this is what I want to do. So Bill Carter is a local blacksmith. He was at Trap Forge, which was his family forge. And he was my DV assessor and has taught me a lot over the past five years. Well, I was working at the forge one day and this young fella turned up with his father and he wanted me to assess a skill project he was doing for the Duke of Edinburgh Award. And I looked at the work he'd done and I said, how have you done this? And Oscar said, I've made this on my forge. I said, what forge? He says, I made one. I thought, this young man has got a lot of enthusiasm and he's the sort of person who should be continuing with this craft in the future. I'm sure there are still things he wants to learn and can learn, but he's at a very young age has reached a point where he's become a, a very good craftsman. I hope that I've been able to teach Oscar quite a lot, and I hope that in the future, Oscar one day will have an apprentice and he'll be able to teach them all the skills of this craft so it will carry on and hopefully an ancient craft like blacksmithing will never die. The business just sort of began to build naturally. Obviously I started in the pandemic so everything was locked down so I was heavily reliant on social media. I do my own YouTube videos, Instagram, Facebook and those are there to promote the business and to actually be a selling platform. I love the area around Pendle. This area is where I grew up. There's lots of wildlife about and you will see that link between where I live and the work, the Ram's Head, which Bill's dad actually came up with, so I passed it down to Bill. Bill's now taught me and something that I have been doing recently is coming up with a, a Pendle Witch Head design. So I now make my own Pendle Witches and put those on all sorts of things like bottle openers and key rings. The thing that really just inspires me is making things and then seeing other people appreciating your work is always very rewarding. In the near future, me and Bill are hoping to start a new business, so that's going to be a, a new sort of adventure for the both of us. And then it is, I suppose, on to me to then begin to teach the next generation, you know, and maybe for myself to look to get an apprentice. I think it's much more freeing being self-employed, because obviously you can work when you want and you can be much more flexible in your hours, so if you're doing something, it doesn't matter, you can do that and then on the weekend you can make the time. You don't have to wear a uniform, you can of course just wear whatever you want. I tend to wear jeans as they are nice and durable. You can wear an apron if you want to wear an apron, they're obviously going to help protect your clothes a bit. For me, this is obviously a very practical thing, so watching other people do it, go on YouTube, have a look, see if it is something that you could do. Try looking it up and see if there are uni courses. I think the closest one to sort of the Pendle area is Myosco, but the big one is down in Hereford. So whatever you want to do, if you really, really, really want to do it, just have a go. Get involved. If you like it, carry on doing it. Carry on, just, just be determined. Bill, are you happy with it? The lovely words that Oscar came on about you. I wasn't listening. I mean, I was completely <laughs> dead. No, no, I don't. Like usual. Yeah.